Hi everyone. Now, recently I got asked two or three times actually, uh, basically about latex, latex sheet, this stuff. And what's the best way to cut it? Uh, now I've struggled over the, when I first started using it. Uh, basically this is, you can see, latex thin. This one's from Vineyards. Now, it is, I've tried Stanley now, Stanley blades, scalpel blades, on a ruler, on a cutting board, and it, it never really cuts really good, uh, but I'm going to show you how I do it. First thing I do is just roll it up. It's quite simple, just to roll it up. Try and keep it as straight as you can at the side. As you wind, you can tap it so it stays nice and straight as you wind. Or straight enough anyway. Do you come together like this? Now with the open side facing up the way I find it easier to cut. Get my scissors and then depending how big a fly you're going to be tying, the width could be anything from two or three mil to four or five mil because it will reduce by stretching it. So you just simply straight cut through. And there we go. I'll do the same again. So we've got a nice length. So see it's very easy to cut and there's the latex ready to use. Now I'm going to add a little bit of weight to the, the caddis so I'm using some lead tape. This is just the lead foil, lead tape, sticky back as you can see it's got a sticky, I've stretched it a wee bit by rubbing it on the table. This is from Vineyards. Yeah, I've cut a length off about maybe two mil, mil and a half. Now I'm just going to basically catch in slightly up for where I would be the body starts. I'm going to wind the lead up until I'm in line with the, the point of the hook. I'm just going to remove the wee tail at the back here. Now I want to get a shape in the body so I'm going to come down a couple of turns. This will help. Add weight obviously and help with the shape of the body. Using the back of my nail here to flatten it. Then I'm going to basically use two threads. I've got some uni thread uh, in white. So I'm going to start using the, uh, the the beginning of the lead. Keep the waist piece of the white the thread tight, and then wind towards the back. And then you want to be covering the the lead up. Now keeping the thread tight means that you can get it work your way around and you'll end up with a nice covering the thread over the lead. Mainly it's this is I like to cover it. Now just leave the white thread at the back, just leave it over the back of your, your vice. Now I'm gonna use a light key hole, the same colour as the, the latex and for the body. So I'm gonna start that at the same point and then come round a wee bit. Just come back up just to get it started because I'm going to tie in the latex. So the latex we cut earlier. I'm going to cut it into basically a kind of slight cut, light slight taper. Just going to not too much of a taper, just enough so you can catch it on. Now there is a dull side and a shiny side. I mean I've never really bothered but the shiny side would be best to be on the outside, so I'm going to tie this on with the dull side facing me. Sometimes it would be quite hard to see there you are. So I'm going to catch this on the way down. It's much easier to catch it on the way down. And then stretch it, really stretch it out. And work your way to the words. The back of the hoop. See where we are. It's fine. Come back up. You get a nice piece of thread down there. And then you want to wind up nice and tight, at first especially. It'll get naturally tapered as you go up. So work your way up, a nice shape. Yeah. Now the, the white thread's there to bring up the gills. I'll show you what I mean by that, but I'm happy with it, so I'm going to tie off. I want it to slightly taper towards the, the eye of the hook, so I don't want it too too thick or too far up anyway. 
problem. And then tidy up. Now I'm going to take away the thread. I'll just take away. And then what I've got here, uh, if I can find it, here we are. I'm using just a note, you could use a white, any white dubbing light, but I'm going to be using this here. Uh, I've been experimenting a bit with the, the new dubbins from Fully Mill. This is a Euro Nymph Flash Scadis Larvae cream, as you can see, with pearl in it. So it's a nice colour. But I'm going to use this as gills. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lightly dub it on to my thread. Just a light dubbing. And then I'm going to rub this up. So I'm going to slide it up the thread. And then start to wind it up like a rib. It will sink into the tighten when you need to, it will sink into the latex. And there we are, that's fine. Take away the excess. To your nice dubbing like and you just Draw it back with your fingers. You could brush out some of it with uh, just some Velcro. I see it's just a simple fly. It was mainly to show you how the the latex how we cut it. Now I'm going to change the thread colour to black, just a uni black. This is for the the thorax area. Turn away. And come up to make sure I'm basically in line with the point of the hook. That's fine. Bring a thread back down. I'm going to put legs on this. Now I've got some pre knotted pheasant tail in, in black. I want half dozen, six of these. And I'm, I'm basically going to tie them forward. So I'm going to tear it away. I don't want the legs too long. I have them basically, I'm, at, I'm encouraging them to actually be on the underside of the hook. So, um, but I'm wanting them to kind of spread. So you're about a head length away from the, uh, the eye of the hook. And then tie these on. So it's... Trim away pheasant tail. Then I've got some more of the... This is the... Uh, Tactical micro flash dubbing. Uh, in this case, it's a dark brown, very black, like, but it's a dark brown version. Quite like the colour. So, lightly dub it on, you don't need much because you've got a taper there. I want the colour. So, we thread right up at the body, or, and then we just work our way th down through it. Keeping an eye on the shape. Now, as I get about a head length away from the legs, stick away most of the dubbing and draw back the legs. I try and sort of spread them. And it's just a small head. Let's see what it looks like. Well, leggy like pattern, it works. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's other legs I've used before, uh, but this is it's a good fun, a good way of tying using the pheasant tail. Just small, form a small head with the thread. Yeah, and then I'm just going to put some varnish on the thread, and then what finish? So it's just. There's some nice tying methods in there, but it's, it's mainly about the, the latex uh, shape and uh, how you can get a nice body, gills. Tighten up. Trim away. And there we are. Small latex caddis pupa. I should love these flies. I like these. Very bug like. And there we go. So, just a latex caddis paper. 
So it's just how to use the sheet or how to cut the sheet, that's how I do it. Quite simple. You see, you end up with a lovely body. It's a bit of fun to tie. You can take away any of the longer fibres. Uh, I've had many a fish on these kind of these kind of bugs. You can do the next. I've got this one here, which has got more of a the next stage. Uh, you can colour them up. I mean, here's a one different coloured body, same the latex. There's just different ways of using it. Uh, it's a pheasant tail. Again, just perfect wee bug light with uh, flies. Give you thick light. But there you go, that's just a simple version and uh, one uh, definitely if you tie some of these up you'll, you'll catch on them. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and again, thanks for watching.